There are 97 games to go in the Premier League this season. Who's going to win the league? Who's going to get relegated? Who is going into Europe? We simply don't know. This is Back of the Network AFC Bournemouth Fan Channel. My name's Sam Davis. My name's Tom Jordan. And Tom, it's mm. such an interesting season. There's so many things still in the mix. But Bournemouth... We're all right, aren't we? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I think most teams, as, as you kind of mentioned, most teams have still got something to play for. There's loads up for grabs. I think we're one of a few that are probably kind of in that middle bit. I mean, if you want to make a shout for we're still in the relegation scrap, then you've got to say we're in a shout for Europe then. Exactly. Because we're closer to that. So, And I don't really, if I'm being honest, I don't think either is going to happen. But, you know, most teams have still got something to play for, whether that's looking over the shoulder a little bit all going right for the top. I mean, it's always good to have a tight race still going. Yeah. And it's always good to think, oh, there's still a few that could drop down. So, yeah, we'll give it a go, mate. T- 10 games for most teams to go, aren't there? Yeah, and we're going to be predicting mm. every single match. And we'll find out at the end who's going to win the league, who's getting relegated, and whether Bournemouth could even come close. And look, we need to be as neutral as possible. And I know that if you're a fan of another side... You will be aggrieved. You'll be aggrieved at one of the results that we put in. And also, we've got to say, with this kind of part of the season, there's always a shock, isn't there? There's always a shock that no one expects. So maybe we'll chuck one of them in. And we've got to go to the Emirates. Who knows? Could we? Right, let's go. Could we? This is the league table at the moment. But do you spot something? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we haven't taken off the six points that Everton have been deducted and also the four that Forrest have been deducted. It's all still in the mix. We still don't know. I feel for the teams that are in and around it, especially like the likes of Luton. They don't really know what's going to happen. Hopefully all decisions will be made before the end of the season so they at least know what they're playing for. But what we'll do, we'll work out the table, then we'll take off the points. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Do you like that? Good shout. Right then, let's go. The predictor begins. We need to play catch up though. And on match yeah. week 26, there was a certain game mm. that wasn't fulfilled between Chelsea and Spurs. Right. One, what do you think? It's a tough one to call because Tottenham are having a much better season, obviously, yeah. and look a lot better. Chelsea have turned a little bit of a corner, look mm. a bit better. I think this is going to be a good game. I'm going to go 2 2. What do you reckon? Do you yeah, 2 2. Yeah, well, look. We can sort of like, you can do one, I can do one, yeah, we can yeah, have right. an agreement, we yeah. can see. If there's anything I largely disagree with, I will make sure I mm. say. But yeah, two all, Some I'm the fence happy course, yeah. with that. Right, match week 29 then. Mm. There are still some to catch up on. Some games have been played. First one, tell you what, Chelsea, tough games here. Right, mm. at Arsenal. Yeah, so kind of alluded to Chelsea there, but I think Arsenal will be too strong at home. Yeah. I don't know if you agree. I don't no, think it'll be I easy. Think so. No, I, I, you know, they're usually pretty strong at home. They've got some really good results this season. So I've, it has to be an Arsenal win. Just depends whether they're going to be scoring loads of goals or whether it's going to be a tight one. I think it's going to be tight. I was going to go 1-0, 2-1, one, one of them. So yeah, you made right, call I'm happy them with that. Too. I'm going to go 1-0. Okay. 1-0 they're to They're good at the back this season, aren't they, Arsenal? Uh, Crystal Palace versus Newcastle United. Oh. It's another one that both teams, you think, oh, it's, it depends on this new gaffer at Palace. He's had a few games now. How long is he going to... But they... Usually this would be Eddie Howe it would. getting the three points, but, but they're the not quite... They've got. So have yeah. you seen Botman, by the way? Oh, mate, I, I mean, feel for joke, him. I feel it? for him. So I would sit on the fence and go one all. Really? Yeah. And this, you know, and that could be labelled a shock result, I suppose, in many ways. Crystal Palace fighting. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle United should be flying. They're not. one all. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Manchester United, I know they've been a little bit ropey and stuff, but they would surely have to beat Sheffield United. Or would they? Yeah, I mean, Old Trafford's light work, mate. Um, (laughs) They'll win that. They've got to win that. Uh, I think by two. So up you, 2-0, 3-1, something like that. Yeah, 2-0. Yeah, Yeah. I'm happy with that. Oh, this is one that we don't really want to be biased. Oh, this is the Gary and Derby. Wolves against AFC Bournemouth. Now, this game was uh, rescheduled due to... Uh, Wolves yeah. uh, FA Cup involvement of, obviously they're out of that now fair play to Coventry City yeah, for each of the semi-finals but um, oh, I think this is going to be hard mate because he's yeah. been motivated to get a result just like he was of the course, last time of course I think you know last time obviously there was there was context we went down to 10 men I think I think most neutrals that's what I'm trying to think now because obviously Bournemouth are in there would go with what I'm going to go with Draw? because yeah because you'd probably go on oh, Wolves at home they'll be slight favourites I would have thought on odds and stuff like that and then you realise they're probably not going to have... Well, they're definitely not going to have Neto, who's yeah. their main man. They're probably not going to have Cunha back no, by this time. Yeah. And then you look at you know how they've... Since they've gone out the side, they dipped a little bit, especially in that cup game. So 
but also they're still strong. So I, I reckon one all is fair. Yeah, I think one all absolutely fair. Okay, here we go then. Uh, Brighton at home to Manchester City. Man City going to win that. Yeah, they'll win it. They'll be too strong. Two uh, 0 Yeah. I think that's fair, mate. 2-0. Uh, what about the Merseyside derby then, Ooh. mate? Everton. This one's always tasty. They're always close games. They used to be, um, yeah. you know, Liverpool like flying away with it, but not so much these days. I think Everton will scrap Battleard and Liverpool have too much. Uh, I was going to say 2-0 Liverpool. 2-0. Yeah, I just think. Do you, you agree? I think so. Or 2-1. No, you know what? I think Everton will score. Okay, 2-1. I five. think because they, you know, they've been a little bit more resilient recently. Yeah, Everton, they have. So, they'll, you know, they'll score. Okay. Right, we're on to the complete match weeks then. Ooh. And uh, we're on to AFC Bournemouth's next home game. But before that, there is a small matter of a lunchtime game. Newcastle United versus yeah. West Ham. Uh, at home. I think Newcastle will just beat them. Difficult one. I'm um, just thinking about it now. Obviously, it's off, off the back of an international break. Um, where West Ham, a few of their key players have gone as well, which I think might affect them. Mm. Um, you see, like, Paqueta's had a lot of minutes and uh, Kudos as well, yeah. and different players they've got. And I, I think they're dipping a little bit. They're still thinking about Europe. Yeah, I think Newcastle edge it. Yeah. Uh, buy a goal, mate. So what you want to do, 2-1? Yeah, let's, let's go 2-1. AFC Bournemouth versus Everton. I think Bournemouth are going to win this. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll edge it. We've, we've got a, a decent record at home to Everton, an awful record away, yeah. which we've seen earlier in the season where we got spanked there 3-0. But at home, we tend to do all right against them. The pressure's on them, mm. not oh, us. We've uh, Recently, we've been doing all right at home in terms of coming back in yeah. games and always keeping ourselves in games. So I probably we probably still concede. So I'll probably go the same as the Newcastle game. 2-1? Yeah. 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't take a draw put it that way from a ball perspective. I think we can win that at home. Chelsea, Burnley? Uh, I think Burnley put up a fight with Chelsea. I want to go again, 2-1, actually. 2-1. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, Same doing the whole time. Forest versus Crystal Palace. Could be another 2-1. Uh, no, what are you going for there? I think Forest off the back of a deduction. Um, Siege mentality. Creeping yes, in. I think they'll nick it 1-0. 1-0. Okay. It'll be one of them games and I think everyone will go, ooh. I'll yeah, tell you what, Fulham are, uh, you know, one of this season's surprise packages, maybe. I think they're doing great. And uh, Sheffield United. Oh, crap. Yeah, I just I, can't, I just can't. I'm going to struggle to find anything for Sheffield United. Even though against us they were two 0 up, they still, you know, we didn't have to do much to get back in that game. I think Fulham have too much, mate. Do you uh, reckon? Yeah, I was going to say two 0 I thought. Oh, I thought it could have been a draw. Really? Um, Should we go two one though? Two one. Yeah, let's go two one. Meet in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Think Fulham okay. Too much, mate. Uh, Spurs against Luton. Too much. I don't have too much. I think they'll score too many. I'll go three one. Yeah. Okay. I, think, I think they'll be too strong for them. Okay, uh, right up Villa. to the Midlands. Tasty mm. one there. Villa, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, Villa chasing down mm. the top four spot. One nil. I was going to say to Villa. One nil. Yeah, I just I think we know obviously Gary Neville. I think it'll make it really difficult for them. Yeah, but I think they'll just have enough to nick a goal. Yeah, um, and I think they'll be solid enough at the back. So Brentford v United. See, this was one I was oh. going to. I don't know what you're thinking because initially, kind of my head, I thought Brentford are desperate for points. You know what man you are like about up yeah. and down. Could this be a Desmond or two all? That's what, my, but I would understand if you think Man you'd be too strong. I'll let you make the I mean, call. You know, the way they held Manchester City for a long time. I think, makes Brent, me think... I think Brentford are all right in these sort of games at home. Yeah, no, I agree. Tony coming back. From they the seem to have less fear against mm. the big sides and certainly put up a fight. Yeah, two all. Yeah, you're happy with that? Liverpool out to Brighton. That's too much. Yeah. Um, two nil? Yeah, two nil. Man City, oh. Arsenal. Oh, at the Etihad. I think Arsenal are going to go there and really put up a fight. It's just City's quality. Yeah. I think if I had to... I don't, I'll let you make the call yeah. on this one. Do you think they'll shade it? Or? I was going to say, I actually think Arsenal will be really up for it, but they're not going to have enough to win. I was going to say one all. Because yeah. I think City, in a weird way, I know they're at home, they'll think, if we don't lose to Arsenal, we can win every other game. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to say one all. And yeah. it'd really be on a knife edge. Uh, yeah. And probably the best result for Liverpool. But I think yeah. City... City the type of team that are not going to drop points to the lesser teams, whereas Arsenal, I think, could. Yeah. So I think they'll settle for a point, and right. that's why they won't beat them. Okay, one all. Right, mm. let's go to match week 31. We'll rattle through these yeah, ones. Yeah. Let's let's do it then. Okay. Forest v Fulham. <sighs> These are the midweek fixtures, these ones. One all. Yeah. Yeah. Newcastle v Everton. 2-1 Newcastle. Yeah, I agree with that. I think they'll show it. Bournemouth against Crystal Palace. Are they going to do the double? Is this going to be another double? Another double? Could be. I think... They're a bit goal-shy as well. 
Yeah, go on. We're going to nick it one now. Yeah, we're going to win it. We're going to win it. And look, we're being entirely neutral yeah. here. I mean, we haven't lost we any got of cut, our predictions so yeah, far. But... Cut the decent fixtures. Um, uh, Burnley, are they uh, are they turning a corner? Mm. A little bit. I don't feel they have enough in this one. I think, half of, I think O'Neill will keep Wolves solid enough. Okay. One nil Wolves. Oh, sorry, Burnley. Yeah, I think this is good. that's a good game for, for O'Neill, I think. West Ham versus Spurs. West Ham are a funny side, you know, like in the Europa, uh, like smashing teams in the league. They're not, you know, they're so inconsistent. They always go up for these sort of games, though. They do. They do. Two all? Yeah. Do you, you don't think they'll scrape it? No, I think Tottenham have got enough quality okay. to, to, yeah, it's still good. Okay. Draw. Arsenal against Luton. I mean, Arsenal have too much. 2 uh, 0. 2 0. Brentford against Brighton Hove Albion then. 1 0. Yeah, I think that's fair. I yeah. think that's fair because that would be a good result for Brighton, really. I think that'd be all right. Yeah, that's fine. Manchester City against Villa. God, there are some tasty games. Oh, do you I think they have too much? Yeah. Yeah. 2 0, so. 2 0. Uh, right, Liverpool versus Sheffield United. Is this a case of how many? Yeah, I think. 4 0? Yeah, 4. I was going to say 4, so let's go yeah. 4. Uh, Chelsea versus Manchester United as well. Whew, another tasty one. Sit on the fence, 1 0. Unless you want to make a call. No, let's go 1 0. Yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Okay, 1 0. Right, match week 32. Smashing for them. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Manchester City. I two mean, nil City. but sometimes they produce two against Manchester City. Sure. No ch- yeah, no All chance. Right. Um, <laughs> Villa versus Brentford. 1 0 Villa. Yeah, yeah, Ollie Watkins scoring against his former oh, yeah, team, maybe. Yeah. Um, Everton against Burnley. That's a big game. Oh, that's huge, isn't it? Oh, I think this is the one where Burnley are killed off, unfortunately. Okay. I think at Goodison, I think. Everton... And we know what it's like to see the Goodison crowd yeah. get them over the line. 2 1 Everton. 2 1 to the Evertonians, right? There yeah. you go. Uh, Fulham against Newcastle United. Oh, I think Fulham would be decent at home. I was just 2-1 Fulham. Sorry, Geordies. Yeah, I hate doing that against Eddie as well. Yeah, but I, no, I think you're right. Uh, right, so we're going to, obviously, against Luton, uh, Bournemouth. We're 3-0 down at half-time at home to Luton. Yeah. At their place, we know what it's like to have a last-minute goal yeah. uh, scored against us at Kenilworth Road. How do you think this one's going to be, though? It, I think we'll lose at Luton. Do you? Yeah, I do think we'll lose at Luton. I think it's going to map. It's going to obviously it's a massive game for them. Tom, we're a Bournemouth fan. Yes, channel. I know. So I'm trying to put in a few tweets. I just I we're don't a Bournemouth fan. All right. I don't know if you agree. All I'm, right. I'm going to try and say this. One. I think we're going to go there, and like we've said, off the back of decent run, we're going to be 100 percent safe. And do you think there's going to be one flip in you know, a game where we got a flip flops on, and this could be one of them? Yes, and because they're going to be they're going to look at it, their home games in particular yeah. and go, this is a almost a must win. Yeah. We're kind of going, we've got safety. We're probably that's what they said in their last game, and they and they. I know, but when you when you've got the home crowd going, come on, we want to see something. I think yeah. it's a little bit different. And you know, last time we went there, we lost. We're not great. I, I yeah, genuinely, I think that. That they'll have too much for us. So one nil. I think it'll matter too much. I was going to go two one Luton. Unless you think we're going to go there and get something. Oh, we could, of course. We could. Just we trying could. to be. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Wolves versus West Ham. I'm going to go from the first nil nil. Just like think it. neither team is going to be. Yeah. Can Brighton get anything home against Arsenal? Or do you think Arsenal? a good game? Yeah, it will be. I think Arsenal might just. Yeah, I'll go two one them. Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, agree with that. Man United versus Ooh. Liverpool. Bloody hell. I think Man U could this this would be one of them games where Man U go we could help stop Liverpool I know it's probably for City could they get a point out? well uh, they did it of course in the FA Cup yeah. um, Liverpool's yeah. so much better than them but yeah they, I think Klopp will be reeling after the last one it's I true. really think it'll, it'll put a rocket up him because you know this is his I'm edging towards Liverpool but it wouldn't shock me if it's a draw so I'll let you do it I was either going to go a goal oh yeah a draw then alright one all yeah well, let's right. do a draw. Uh, Sheffield United versus Chelsea. They could score a goal on this thing. They might in this game, yeah. but I think they'll lose 3-1. 3-1. All right, no worries. And Spurs at home against Forest. Not too much. Uh, 2-1. 2-1. Tottenham. Okay. Forest is scrapping, so they'll give it a go. Tottenham. Right, good. match week 33. All right. Oh, that's a good game to start. Oh, tasty. Newcastle versus Spurs. My God, man. We know the way Eddie plays. We know the way Ange plays. It's going to be another Desmond, I think. It could be more than that. Yeah. Right. All right, let's go two all. Yeah. Um, Brentford at home, Sheffield United. I've got a feeling that Sheffield United might get a draw at some point. Do you reckon this is one? Uh, away at Brentford? Yeah. All right. One all? Yeah. I mean, been... look, it doesn't affect Brentford's season, I don't think. Yeah. Well, so, that, you know, this could be a point. Uh, yeah. Burnley at home to Brighton. I think there's another one they could. They look like they're dead and buried and then they go there and, and get someone. Could they beat Brighton at home? 
I think they could. Hey, let's go two on Burnley. Go on, on. give him a give him a give him a fighting yeah. chance. I think yeah, why not? Uh, Man City, yeah. yeah. Uh, Forest <laughs> against Wolves. Ooh, that's a big game as well. Mm. Uh, one all. Yeah, one all. Not sure if either are going to. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about shock results. Uh, we've said this earlier in the season. Bournemouth first Manchester United. We won three 0 at their place. I've Four. got. Huh? I've got a feeling we'll do them. <laughs> we can't put we're going to do them again. Okay, well, I think we'll do them. Okay. But uh, for the purposes of staying neutral, one all. One all. All right, but I think we'll do them. I think we'll do okay. them. Okay, okay. I genuinely think Double we'll do Double over United. Yeah, Liverpool versus Palace. 2 0 Liverpool. Yeah, 2 0. Uh, West Ham v Fulham. Ooh. This could be a. One all. Yeah. Tough one to call that. Mate, there are some huge oh, games. That's a good one. Arsenal, Villa. Wow. 1 0 Arsenal. Yeah, all right. They'll have, God, like, where's this going to leave Vela's Champions League yeah, hopes? Yeah. Uh, Chelsea aim to Everton. Tough as well. Yeah, yeah, they're all they're all tough. I mean, I know that Everton are scrapping for points. Chelsea but... too much quality at home. Probably two one. Yeah, two one. All right. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, right. What are we on? Thirty-four. Match week thirty-four. Oh. Uh, <laughs> ball with at Villa. We're going to get beaten at Villa. Whoa, let's calm down. When they'll go, come on, we are. Good. No, I, I don't think they'll be too good. Um, I'll go. I think we'll score. I'll go three-one Villa. Okay. Fair. We got spanked there last year. Yeah, week. all right. Yeah, fair enough. Brighton versus Chelsea. Have Brighton won yet with our predictions? I'm not sure a lot. Yeah. I'll nick this one then. 2 1. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah. I think they will. Uh, Palace against West Ham United. I feel like that just screams 1 all, though. It does, yeah. doesn't it? I think, I think West Ham, in my head, West Ham's a draw. Let's put it in. Don't. Let's put it oh, in. Oh, what a game. Everton. Points Forest. deduction derby. Yeah, the point. Yeah, my God. Um, just because it's a Goodison. Yeah. One nil Everton. I was going to say. Do you agree? Because the Goodison factor. Yeah, the Goodison factor. How many times is that keep Mark? Yeah, uh, Fulham against Liverpool. Oh, I think they'll run them close, but I think that Liverpool will possibly have too much. I was going to say that. Like two a, one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one two. Yeah. Uh, Luton that. versus Brentford. Oh, I think Luton are going to win that. So do I. One nil. All right. Oh my God! What's going to happen here? Right. So Newcastle are at Manchester United. I'm going three two United. Yeah. I mean, Eddie's season is petering out, mate, by the looks of it. Uh, oh, Sheffield United, Burnley. I mean, it might not even matter too much by then, but yeah. you know what? I think they'll be in with a chance. I think, you know, obviously it's a little bit in jest, but we've seen both these teams. Nil nil. Because they're both awful. <laughs> they <laughs> was, are. They're not awful. Because, I mean, listen, Sheffield United got a point of us, but I just. I feel like both of them are going to be scared to lose. But then they've kind of got both of these teams will go, we have to win. Yeah. And that makes me feel like neither of them will. <laughs> so nil nil. I was going to go nil nil. Nil nil. We want yeah. no goals. Yeah, because they're just both going to be so scared. All right. Spur- oh, Spurs against Man City. This is one where I think City are going to drop points. This- oh, my God. What? A they draw, always though. cock up with Tottenham. Yeah, they do. Spurs aren't going to win, though, are they? No, they're 1 0. All right. Uh, Wolves versus Arsenal. I- yeah, I think Arsenal are going to cock it up. <laughs> We know O'Neill. Yeah, we know. He's already O'Neill. done it. Seems he, he always gets the results against the big sides, yeah. and then he seems to not get the results against the sometimes. Yeah, you expect. But I think sometimes at home he knows how to set him up. He's very good at that. Gas. I think Gas is good. At, same as City. I think they're both going to have a week. It's going to be a big week for Liverpool. This by the looks yeah. of it. I think it's going to be one all draw. I think. Oh, one all. Okay. So yeah, I don't think they'll win. win it. But I think they'll. Yeah, I think they'll be a tough nut to crack. Match week thirty-five. Then Bournemouth got Brighton at home. We can win that. We can. But is that a two all? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we said we'll get a draw against United, so even though I feel like we could beat Brighton. I don't know how, you know, Bournemouth's, uh, for anyone that's uh, a fan of a different club, Bournemouth's uh, biggest points tally in the Premier League is 46. Oh, I hope we're close. I'm wondering, I'm wondering yeah. whether we'll go over that. Uh, Villa at home to Chelsea. Uh, ooh. 2-1 Villa. T- that's a really tough one to call that. Home fact. 2-1 to Villa. All right, Everton against Brighton. I feel like, now, now I'm looking at this, I haven't really looked, you don't obviously tend to look to it for yeah. the fans. I'm thinking... Tell you what, even when at the end when we go right, we'll add on Everton's points deduction. They've got some good fit because I've yeah, looked they at they've got some get they've got winnable games at Goodison. Yeah, and they're playing the teams around them as well. And you want to take do points it again? Teams aren't they? I think they win this. Yeah, what I think they for? win this two one. Two one. They're going to uh, do it again, aren't they? Everton? Of course they are. Fulham against Palace. I swear, Palace is another one I just go draw. <laughs> no, I think Palace will, uh, Fulham will win it. Actually, um, we'll go one nil. One nil, I think so as well. Yeah. Uh, Man United against Burnley. I think they'll kill them off. Three 0 Three now. All right. Uh, Newcastle only against Sheffield United again. I think even though they're weakened by injuries, I think they'll have enough. Two now. Yeah. Forest. I think at this point they're both actually down as well. The Forest against Man City. They'll try, but they'll get beat. Two nil. Two nil. Yeah. Spurs against Arsenal. Oh, God. oh my God. I don't want to sit on the fence, but I don't see 
Oh, it's really hard because obviously when you're doing this, obviously we're doing this like you don't want to sit on that. But you, I mean, but you also don't know where exactly these clubs are at. Like I'm also going into this game going a point's good. Was the reverse fixture a draw? Yeah. Phil, what do you think? Because I, I was sitting on a one or two all. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking a two all. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, I find it really hard to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, West Ham versus Liverpool. Tough one. It will. I think Liverpool will one nil Liverpool. Yeah, possibly a bit I too much. The league, uh, Wolves against Luton. Uh, one nil Wolves. Yeah, one nil to Wolves. Okay, Liverpool. three match weeks to go. Match week thirty-seven. Arsenal v Bournemouth. And the title race. No, I mean... Yeah, what have I said? I'm not going to do it, but yeah. what have I just... You know, like you said against Man U, that yeah. you, you're yes. not going to say it, but you've got this feeling. I've been saying to you for a while that... Remember last season where, obviously, it didn't um, culminate, but they scored that last-minute winner against Reece us. Nelson, it, yeah. Yeah, and it felt like that was a massive moment. Said, I feel like it's going to be... We're going to go there and, and kill their title hopes. I don't know why. But, it's probably just but, a stupid thought in my head. But you're not saying that on this video. No, because yeah, I'm just going to. I just want to put it out there that yeah. if it happens, well, that well, I think we're going to go there and absolutely spank them. I don't. But, but they're not going to smash us, are they? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Well, two, um, a two nil, two one. Yeah, go two one Arsenal. Two one Arsenal. I mean, we never even got on so much as a point at the Emirates, have we? No, not the Emirates. No, no. Cheers for that. Uh, okay. Uh, I think this will mean more Brentford, Brentford at this stage. Brentford, Fulham. That's what I'm trying to gauge yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Fulham are just, it's finished. They've had a great season. I think Brentford still need a few points. So Yeah, Thomas Frank will. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Brentford on that. Yeah, just okay. to think it will mean more. Uh, Brighton v Villa? 1-0. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's yeah probably about right. Burnley against Newcastle United. 2-0 Newcastle. I think Burnley are done at this point. Yeah. Burnley and Sheffield are done at this point okay. in my eyes. Uh, Chelsea versus West Ham? London Derby. I think Chelsea would just... Just nick it? Yeah, just nick it. All right, 2-1 or 1-0 then. Yeah, let's go for 1-0. Uh, yeah. Palace against Man United. I feel like a point at home. Palace. Mm, yeah. The new gaffer. That's what? the thing. Palace feel like they've got not much if they get safety, but they're the new gaffer's going to want... Is this 0-0 or 1-0? 1-0, I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. Liverpool Spurs. Spurs have a big... We've said that they're going to... They've gonna... got a massive say. I'll tell you what. We've said they're going to get a point off City, a point off Arsenal. Let's do the same again. I'm going to 1-0. Okay, right. Uh, Luton versus Everton. Wow, again, Everton playing teams in and around them. Wow, but... No Goodison fans. At home, though. Is this a draw or is this Luton? I was going to... I'll let you do it because I've got two in my head. I was either going to go 1-1 or 2-1 Luton. So you can have the decision. I don't think Everton will go there and win. Like, no, I don't. I don't think Luton... Yeah, I don't... It's whether Luton have got enough to get the win. And have they got any, of the, any players back by then? Yeah. It's a draw or Luton, in my opinion. You make the final call. Oh, I don't know. Let's be pessimistic and, and go draw. Okay, why well, is that pessimistic? Are you a Luton fan? Uh, no, pessimistic towards both Everton and Luton. Okay. Uh, yeah, one all. Yeah. Uh, Manchester City versus Wolves. They're not going to get done twice to them, surely. No. I think 2-0 City. 2-0. As much as Wolves. And Sheffield United versus Nottingham Forest. Wow. 1-0 uh, Forest. Okay. Uh, Sheffield will be down at this point. Yeah. Sheffield United. So. Uh, right. I don't think they've scored a goal. <laughs> no, I don't think they have. Right, here we go then. Uh, Bournemouth versus Brentford. Come on! Yeah, Frankie in the mud. Uh, oh, yeah, I will have too much, I think. 2-0? Um, yeah, why not? Uh, Aston Villa v Liverpool. Ooh. 1-0. One 1-0, all. One all. okay. That's tough. I didn't realise Liverpool has a tough fixture that. They yeah. just had Tottenham as well. Everton have got Sheffield United. There are some good games. Everton are going to get Europe. <laughs> They've got some great... I didn't realise their fixture was so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, 2-0 <laughs> Everton. Wow. Fulham versus Manchester City. Nah. Yeah, 1-0 City. I think yeah, 1-0. I think they'll do it. Yeah, they'll get a uh, Man United, Arsenal. Wow. Uh, I think United will take points off them. Do you? What yeah. a draw, though. Yeah, I'll go 2-0. I think that'll be a good game. Uh, right, Newcastle got Brighton at home. I, we haven't had too many goals, so I was going to say 3-2 Newcastle. Yeah, OK. Forrest have got Chelsea at home. This, this is, you know, they must look at this thinking, oh, we can get I'll a point, 1-0. Yeah, all right. Um, Spurs got Burnley. Uh, yeah, 2-0. Uh, West Ham versus Luton. Two I, on my stand. Yeah, I, I don't. Think, I, I feel I, like I can't I, see Luton getting. Yeah, in my head, I'm going like, oh, Luton, but they can't do it every time. Yeah, Wolves against Palace. It's gonna be another nil-nil, and it stinks a nil-nil. Do you reckon? Yeah. All right then. Okay. Are Sheffield gonna score a goal? I want to know. They've got last game. <laughs> they've got home against. Spurs. I'm gonna let another goal. All right. Then. Um, right. This is the final. Jesus. All the games at the same time. Oh, right. However, that could mean so much at it both could, ends. Yeah. Arsenal have too much quality. Whatever. Yeah, they will. They um, will. So I'll go three-one. 3-1. Okay, Brentford versus Newcastle United. 1-0. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Brighton against Man United then. 
Uh, I want to go 2 1 Brighton, you know. Yeah, I don't think we're giving Brighton too no. many wins, and I've just got a feeling that they'll because they, you know, they'll be and in and around the European and, spot and as well. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, whether one. they'll be in Europe at that stage, I'm yeah, it's difficult not. to know, isn't it? But yeah, um, two one, two one, Burnley at Ooh. home against Forest. I think Burnley will be gone at this point. But then, but will it be a case last of last home game? I think it could be a draw that. Yeah, one all. Yeah, yeah. All right, Chelsea versus AFC Bournemouth, Stamford mm. Bridge, light work. Yeah, I mean. We're going to lose that, I think. Last game. Yeah. yeah. Or, Do you know, we've... Really, in our, is this our eighth season in the Premier League? Yeah. We've been away on the last day every time. Yeah. That's, right. That's a joke. No, I, I, we've been quite kind to us a few times. I think Chelsea, last home game of the season, I think they'll have an edge. I'll go 2-1. Two, one. Right, 2-1 to Chelsea. Even though we can go there and get a point. Uh, Palace, Villa. I don't think Palace might get a draw on that. Villa, in my opinion, I don't know exactly when it is. I think they're going to go all the way in the um, Conference League. Yeah, so okay. that's going to be. So I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Yeah. Okay. Liverpool have got Wolves. I think they'll kill them off. Two 0 Two 0 Yeah. I was thinking that as well. Luton against Fulham. Oh, oh. Well. Yeah. I was thinking a draw. I was thinking a draw. Man City got West Ham. Two 0 Two 0 And then Sheffield United versus Let's Tottenham. Give them a goal. Hots, but yeah, what they're going to score? Yeah. Then but three-one. Yeah. Yeah. At least. <laughs> there you go. We've just predicted ninety-seven games. I'm tired. Do you want to know oh, what? The final league table is going to be right. So what? Okay, can I just ask you a question before I show you? Where are your eyes first going to focus? The winners or relegated or what? Well, actually, because I thought I was looking for I was staring at the bottom three, so that's obviously in my mind. But then you still got to do the maths. Deductions, yeah. Right, go. Manchester City are winning the title Luton. by a point. Hang on, Luton Town. Oh, they're going to go down despite deductions. Are going down despite deductions. <laughs> Sheffield United, sorry. I mean, look at the gap between 14th and 15th. By the way, what was our. Don't look. What was what? our record points tally in the Premier League? 46. 47 points. 47. Get in. So there you go. Manchester City are winning the league. Liverpool are uh, the runners up by a point. Arsenal dropping points has cost them. Spurs are going to get the fourth Ooh, spot. Goal difference. Villa. Villa. Yeah, look at this. I mean, the goal difference there could have a massive. Villa get fifth, which could be a Champions League spot. Yeah, Is yeah. That right? Yeah, it could well be. Um, Newcastle's still going to get Europe. That's mad. Brighton, 10th. Yeah, Bournemouth, got Wolves 13th. So we haven't surpassed our best ever position, but yeah. um, we have surpassed the points tally. Look, I think we've been intentionally maybe a bit down on our own team. I agree. To, I mean, we said a draw against United, which you can go, OK, maybe you shouldn't expect. But then we said we'd lose Chelsea, lose at Luton. Yeah, So exactly. I'll tell you what. But, but last season we had 13, 8, 9 points? Yeah. 9 points? So we got four, so that's a lot better. Now, 15th I, to 13th. I thought we were be, being fairly positive towards Luton, and yet they are bottom of the league, and points deductions wouldn't oh. make any no, any difference so, at all. So basically, okay. Forrest would be in 17th spot with 31 points, and Everton, who were on 44, they would be uh, on 38. No positional change for them. I'll tell you what, what I've learned from kind of doing this, obviously, we're not any experts. We get every single prediction wrong, probably will. But look at that, I thought, oh, I didn't realise how good Everton's fixtures are. They're, yeah, they're yeah, they're really good. I didn't realise in my head how the, the Brentford would be that close. Yeah. Palace as well. For both of them to obviously before deductions to be below Forest is surprising. Um I didn't expect, especially, you know, people say we're anti O'Neill. We've put him above Brighton, above West Ham, above Fulham. You know, it's a fair play. Um yeah, a little bit annoyed that City are gonna win it again quite a part. That doesn't surprise me. Even if you there's only one point at Liverpool on our thing, but yeah, no, it looks really... Don't, don't surprise me too much. Maybe I was... I thought Luton... The fixtures are not nice, are they? No, they're not. I mean, for Everton, I think... I, you know, I think Everton will be absolutely fine. I think the battle there is... I mean, I did, weirdly, I didn't... I, I've never really thought Brentford are no. part of the mix, but there's only three points in it. Yeah, um, but if you obviously take that four of Forest... Yeah, that is... It's that one point with Luton, yeah. so that is, that is going to be really, really tight, but... Um, yeah, no, interesting, mate. But would you, would you take that that we've beaten our points tally, but not because I think that we'll be. I agree with that. I think we'll beat our points tally, but not our league position because that yeah, that league oh, yeah. position we never should have been ninth Th for forty six points. Thirteenth. I mean, uh, it's better than fifteenth last season. Yeah, it's better than fifteenth, and it's a lot and, more points. And it, yeah, it's it's progression. Hell of a lot more goals. Yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy yeah. with that. But Manchester City yet again oh, are no. going to win. The title, but you know what? This is only our prediction. Um, we're going to post the link for this system oh, okay. uh, in the description. Um, so, in like in the comments, can you let us know like how your league table goes? So we want to know mm. 
who's going to win the championship. And also we want to know who's going to be relegated. So maybe give us like one to seven and then the bottom four or whatever, yeah. because we'd love to know. But bear in mind that this system does not take into account the points yeah, that have been deducted that already. So you'll need to work that afterwards. But I'd love to know. Mm. I would absolutely love to know. And you know what? I, What's your biggest surprise out of all of that when you look at that league table? Weirdly, Luton Town going down. Yeah, I know what you mean. I thought Forest. I, I thought they would be similar to that, but then you take Forest's points off and they'll be down. Yeah. But they're not on this. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, no. That's, but the, the league table kind of, it's weird how it works out. But if you had said that at the start of the season, you go, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. There's not too many shocks in there, is there? No. Um, yeah, interesting. But I'll take it, mate. We're, we're comfy as usual. We are comfy. There you go then. So that is how it's going to pan out. There's no point in playing these 97 games. We already know what's going to happen. But yeah, let us know uh, what you think down below. We've got Luton, Burnley and Sheffield United going down. No surprise there, maybe with two of those sides. Manchester City winning the league. Aston Villa, mm. they're going to finish in fifth. And Bournemouth in 13th. Fulham do finish above us. Bit annoying. We'd have rather finished above them, but they've been doing very well yeah, recently. Been good, mate. Um, plenty of content on the way. We've got our own match on, uh, on Saturday where... What do we predict? We predict that we're going to win 2 1, I think. Yeah, uh, so we're Everton. going to win 2 1. Bob, we've got Everton. Um, there's loads of content on the way, including, including preview, match day vlog, fan cams, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe for that. And because the Premier League show will be returning as well um, for the run in, and it's going to be incredible. Thanks for watching, Tom. It's been a pleasure. Absolute pleasure, mate. Have the cherries up the Premier League. See you later. International break's over. <laughs> <laughs>